what is up guys, VWS Phoenix is here. Today is showing you how to download Xbox 360 games and patch them with ABGX 360. Um, first thing what you want to do, this is really easy. Uh, you just need to go to a torrent website like the Pirate Bay, which is down right now, but you can go to uh, this one. I'll use this one every now and then. And once it's loaded, just type in the game that you want, or you could use a website called, called Xbox 360 ISO, but for most of those, you have to have a premium account to download the actual ISO. But just type in whatever you want. Let's say you want a GTA 5. Search it. <clears throat> and you will need uTorrent to actually download the torrent. Um, all you want to do is click on this, I mean, whichever one you want. I think I clicked on this one. It is 15 gigabytes, but it's not going to need all of it. Uh, all you want to do is click download torrent. And it will uh, download the torrent, and then you open it up in uTorrent. <clears throat> and once it came up, it will be done. And yeah, uh, once it's actually done downloading, all you want to do is right click on it and open containing folder. And then you will get all of this. You'll need WinRAR to do this, but you have all of these files and you don't know what to do with them. Well, basically, what you do if you have RARs and then you have .r30 and so on. All you do is open up the very first one, and you can close that out. And once it opens in WinRAR, <clears throat> kind of takes a while because it's a big file. Once it opens up, click on it, and just extract whatever is in the file, and it will extract all of them and I've already extracted it so I go to Xbox 360 games I have DVD 1 and DVD 2 the first one is for installing it to the hard drive the second one is actually playing it so yeah that's basically it now once you've actually downloaded it what you want to do is download ABGX 360 And just go ahead and copy my settings. I will just leave it right here. You can pause it if you want. And yep. Make sure to put that at level three. Uh, skip that. And your region code, you want to make sure it is on. Uh, whatever region you're in and then make sure this is add if it, if it doesn't exist or isn't valid and once you're done with that you just want to click file and choose what you want to do I do have Shadow Mordor but I'm going to do GTA 5 for the sake of this video I'm going to do disk 2 just open that and click launch. <sighs> now you will see all these different colors. Um, it is just checking the actual ISO to make sure that uh, everything matches up. DMI is unverified. Um, it will find things that, if it finds files that aren't there or that aren't supposed to be there or, or the wrong files, it will correct it for you and patch it so you can play these online afterwards so that is a good thing and I will be back whenever this is done this is going to take a while this is checking the game CRC so I will be right back okay guys as you can see it is done let me just scroll up for you um, as you can see it said DMI is unverified 
okay let's say verification failed and um see it says any dvd style corruption was not detected so everything matched except the dmi so what it did was patch it it downloaded the actual dmi integrated it into the disk and the importation seriously matches the verified i and i auto fix was successful so it fixed the disk once you're done just press exit and that is it um, I will not be showing you how to burn the disk because I don't do that but as far as playing it goes if you have an X key or a RGH you can or I think on RGH is you have to convert this to a uh, different file maybe but if you have an X key you just put it on a USB hard drive and load it straight up from the hard drive and it should be fine because it was patched and that's basically it uh, if you have any comments questions uh, put them in the comments below and thanks for watching